Welcome to Weekend Wake Up. <laughs> morning hello welcome welcome to week and wake up you got a word for us today i do okay <laughs> what, today what you got today i want to talk about god desires us to choose life mm. and this is found in the scripture in deuteronomy 30 verse 19 it says this and i'm going to read from the amplified I version that. I call heaven and earth to witness this day against you that I have set before you life and death, the blessings and the curses. Therefore, choose life. That's what I want to talk about today. Okay. That you and your descendants may live. I want to talk about life is a choice. This, this, this scripture is telling me that I have a choice. It doesn't mean, it doesn't tell me that life is going to always go my way yes. or always go perfectly. Yes. But it tells me that I do have a choice yeah. in how I decide to live it irregardless. Yeah. So it tells me that I have it in me. Okay. I have the ability to choose, yep. right? It says I have it in me to make decisions that can build on my life yeah. or I can make a decision that causes destruction. It tears down. It, it yeah. brings um, division. We have a choice. I think so often we think we don't have a choice, but we do have a choice. Yeah. It says it right here in the, on the, it says it right here. I place before you life or death. And then the word says, choose, choose life. life. He's encouraging he us to choose so, life. He gives you the solution. <laughs> it's kind like of if like, you're thinking, you know, <laughs> life or death and you're, you, your bent yes. is toward death. He's saying, no, uh, -uh. go life. Do life. <laughs> if God was giving us a multiple choice test, <laughs> he'd be he like you the A or B. <laughs> Go B. Or A or B. You know, he's kind of like, he's kind of given us the answer here. Uh, so but good. <laughs> we have Jesus living on the inside of us. And, and as I was kind of reading through this and, and telling myself, choose life, choose life. Yeah. Um, it's kind of like, you know, he's giving us the, the answers like we just, established yeah <laughs> <laughs> but i was thinking to myself how how multifaceted jesus is so we have his light on the inside of us but i don't just carry his light i also carry his power so you know you may yes. have accept, accepted into your heart precious baby jesus and in that moment when you you know came to accept him it may have been this really sweet moment and and you just you know the love of jesus but you have um confident jesus that dared to heal on the sabbath living on the inside of you as well you yes. don't just have sweet baby precious baby jesus yes. but you have this like warrior jesus you have confident jesus you have the jesus that like i said you know dared to heal on the sabbath you have the um the jesus that was raised from the dead yes. he, he arose he rose again yes. for you so you don't just have one you've got all aspects of jesus so good there isn't a situation or a person that can extinguish the power that he brings to your life living on the inside of you. He's not afraid of those things that maybe are what you're walking through. Jesus isn't afraid of those things. He's, uh, he's, again, he's got all the, he's got all this power. He's placed and deposited all this power on the inside of you. So we just have to know who Jesus is, what he brings on the inside of us. And we can read in the word and we can find out what has he deposited on the inside of me? Because there isn't a situation that he's mm -hmm. like not equipped Very you good. for. Powerful. So the crazy obnoxious coworker, I would encourage you choose Jesus. And you might be thinking, okay, well, halt. What does that mean? Okay. Well, <laughs> Jesus was kind. Mm -hmm. So you have Jesus inside Jesus of you. You have for those kindness. who persecuted him. Not you know what? Here's a newsflash. Not everyone liked Jesus. How about this? The crazy demanding, you know, boss and you feel underappreciated. Well, you have to choose Jesus and in choosing Jesus, what do you have on the inside of you? If you're choosing Jesus in that moment, you yeah. have grace. Mm, that's good. So he's got all these amazing attributes and you do too. Yes. <laughs> You do too. So let me look at some of the other ones I listed out. Uh, how about how about a teacher that seems to always be frustrated with your child, and just you know is always like you feel like tattletelling on yeah, you on your kid. Yeah, what yeah. what what does G, what does choosing Jesus mean in that situation? What right. would you do? Mm. Well, first of all, I know for me because Mama Bear, <laughs> I have to know that I have forgiveness. <laughs> well, that's right? good. Yeah, that's very um, good. How about? 
the ability to be a good listener. Jesus has dropped that inside of us. Um, so, you know, just because you listen to someone and their perspective or their frustration or their opinion yeah. doesn't mean that you have to take it on, but, you know, that's right. So we have the ability to listen. We have the ability to, basically, we just, Jesus drops, again, he's invested so much into you, into your life. Yeah. And you now are equipped. I mean, you have him and you're equipped with so much. Um, the bank account, when the bank account says you don't have enough, choose Jesus. What does that mean? It means um, he hasn't given me a spirit of fear. Yeah. Or how about he's given me provision? Yes. He, you know, he's. Yes. Right? So I just. Overflow. We have a choice. And so in those moments, you have a decision, you have a choice of whether or not you're going to choose Jesus and you're going to take take the um, the deposited character attribute that he's put inside of you in that moment. Yeah. And apply it. Yeah. And apply it and apply it and apply it. And, and, and you know, and trust it. You have a choice and his name is Jesus Amen. and it is to choose life. I love the part where you're talking about um, the the baby Jesus, but he's also that that courageous, that bold Jesus. You know, he was the lion, but he was also the lamb. Yep. Right. Yep. Um, and what I the the story I, I think of when you're talking about this is um, so for me, and I know a lot of people out there, and even you yourself, um, going to the dentist is not something that I always like to do. Um, and especially when I know it's going to be something to where it's going to require a lot of drilling and a lot of numbing. And so I tend to go into the dentist with this apprehension, with this fear. And um, especially with the times that I know I'm going in there and they're going to do some heavy duty work on me. But I decided a couple years ago that um, instead of having these death thoughts, really, these, these thoughts that were of the negative bent of, you know, being in fear, <laughs> I decided, you know what, I'm going to choose life. And I'm going to choose to praise my way through so this um, dentist appointment. I'm going to choose to keep all my thoughts and my, my, well, all my thoughts and the things that were coming out of my, my mouth about Jesus. I love going to the dentist. Jesus is with me. But when I was actually in the chair, I found out from a friend over here, um, just take your AirPods and put praise and worship on and just fill your mind with praise and worship. And what is it doing the whole time? I'm choosing life, even in the midst of being drilled and being pulled at and prodded at, you know, the whole time, all I'm thinking aren't of is Jesus because all I have going on in my ears is praise and worship music. And I got the I got to the end of my appointment and it was a breeze. It was um, an easy thing. Um, you know, when you choose life, when you choose Jesus, things you see, you, you overcome things and it's almost just like, oh, it just happens. And you go, oh my gosh. Well, it's because of the, the choices I made. That's I chose right. life. Amen. Yeah. So good. It's so good. I've actually doing in doing that. I have. They've had to wake me up. The, I got. Call. I do. I do. <laughs> <laughs> because I just sit there and I focus on. I actually see myself. I take the fear into the throne room. I take the apprehension. I take that like um, claustrophobia. I take it into the throne room on the very first moment, and I am always and I and I just imagine and I just picture myself standing in the throne room, and I just think to myself, "Okay, yeah. Lord, I'm just handing this entire situation, whatever fear, whatever concern, if it's gonna if it's pain that you're afraid of, and I'm just like I hand it over to you. I trust in you, and thank you, Lord. And I just have that music playing in my head, and so then pretty soon they're waking me up. Yeah, so good. It's real. It's real. Pray for them. I do. So, Father God, I thank you and I praise you um, that, first of all, that we have your son. Yeah. I thank you and I praise you, Jesus, that um, you are so full of so many, there's so many facets to you. Yes. I thank you and I praise you that we have access to every single one of them. So I thank you right now and I ask, Holy Spirit, that you will quicken the minds of our listeners, of our viewers, to know that in every situation, in every circumstance, they can call on Jesus and choose life, no matter what it is, whether it is a doctor report or um, a, a co-worker, um, no matter how large or how petty yeah. they may think it is. I thank you and I praise you right now that it matters to you, but that you've also given them the ability on the inside to choose 
life. Choose something that's going to build on the promises that are in the word of God. And we thank you and we praise you. In Jesus' name, amen. Amen. Well, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. And we will see you next Saturday. Bye.